Hello everyone, this is Dragon Kirby, and welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we collected the last of the spatulas and the socks that we missed in the first three stages and collect and gave all the socks back to Patrick. And this episode, we are going after the final boss, but first, we have to talk to Mr. Krabs. But first, you notice that I have 120,000 shiny objects. I didn't need this much. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. It starts off with 3,000. Before, it will go from 3,000 to 6,000 to 9,000, all the way up to like 24 or 27,000. I think it's actually 24,000. But. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's. That was about from 3,000 to 3,500. So, that's. And 3,500 to 4,000. So, that. Then 4,500. So that five thousand. So, do you want that five thousand five hundred? So, do that's six thousand five hundred. So that's. That's 7,500. I still have 80,000 left, meaning that I spent so many hours yesterday getting so many shiny objects when I only need, need 220,000 just to be safe, only to get three times the, the amount. But I guess before oh, we go, I can yes, pay sir. the. Uh, the movie theater ticket and show you what this is. Unlike the shiny special it's I don't think it's that worth it. Because it's kind of just a certain uh, uh, concept art. But I mean, it's a really good art. But sometimes like you get a lot of repeating so it feels like you only got like six pictures. So yeah, but you can't walk around the theater. Also, I might, also there was a bit of a spoiler, but you don't know what, the spoilers isn't that huge because we're about to go face out to the final boss anyway, so. They serve food here, yes, but, but they, they don't, don't serve love. Can you order? No, you can't. All right, because, you know. Enter Plankton's lab. Don't mind if I do. Look at that guy. That big square head and those short shorts. That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Wait, that hideous thing looks like me. I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me. Jump in, jelly beans. A robot SpongeBob. There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh! Plankton! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the duplicato drug. I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made 
a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute. You've interfered with my plans for the last time. SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob. Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom. Like SpongeBob has an opportunity here. This is Robot SpongeBob, and as you saw, the it looks like the giant, you know, bulbous green dots on his face are what you want to aim for. Right, it looks like the hand. Let's hit this hat. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. Oh, that was a doozy. Suck it to him, SpongeBob. And the robot is down. The robot's just too big for a direct attack like that. Like also, if I stand right here, if I'm correct, if I stand right here, you could be completely invulnerable. Let's say, change it. Nope, you're completely invulnerable. So it is possible, you know, to cheese the boss by standing behind here and just hitting the dot. But I'm not gonna cheese it. Karate. Karate. <laughs> it looks like SpongeBob has an opportunity here. The robot's just too big for a direct attack like that. There we go. SpongeBob, this match is just a battle. Da da. I mean, it was kind of obvious I could have hit him during the Karata mode. No, you don't to destroy my beautiful bride. We were supposed to get married next week. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, I'm shrinking. No, Badrick. I think the robot is getting bigger. SpongeBob, it is fluid to your head. Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head, which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton. This is just getting too weird for me. <laughs> okay, that was funny. I forgot to hear this humor in this game. There we go. The sponginator. It shines. Then we got Robo Paint LinkedIn. Now do a shot. And then we just hit him with the missile. I said we hit him with the missile. He hit him with the missile. There. Now he won't bother us. And then we can hit this. Off we go! Oh, well, I, I'm dead. <laughs> it 
in the face. And then we go to hit this boy. How did I fail that job? How? How? There you are. That takes care of plugged in again. And then we stop on that one. And we'll fly all the way over here. Let's destroy the duplicator tron. That's our biggest problem. We take care of Robo Plankton again. Yeah, it's kind of, it's just getting to that point where it's like the same thing. We hit that guy. Then up next. Oh, now we get to this part, the fun part. We're gonna hit Plankton before you even bother shooting at us. Because we're cool that way. We did it again. Oh, that feels so good. I think we only have one more. And being the final boss in three. Two, one. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, push. I'm being punished. I don't 
know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. But now, this is the end, and we get a uh, SpongeBob rolling course. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this. And watch me fail and suffer and all that. I really enjoy this game. It's Is it the best? No. Is it like the best in terms of like remakes? I don't think. I don't really think so. I think there's other remakes that have done way better. But does that make this game bad? No. I mean, one of the major complaints was that you had to grind so much to get the last, get the, uh, get the uh, spatulas from Mr. Krabs, and now they fixed that. But now you don't have to grind so much. So, um, what else? And also, yeah, there are some other, like, little glitches that could happen. I didn't get it in this Let's Play, but I saw glitches of people, like, completing, like, the save the kids from, from the balloons and the save the, um, save the camper missions just by collecting, like, one of them. And Mrs. Puff somehow gives it to you. That is a bit of a weird one that I haven't seen. And you, I think, and and I, I did play the original, but sadly I have no way of getting and or recording the original unless I do some sneaky emulator stuff and. Since I already played this version, I don't think there's any point of playing the original. Except if you, I wanted to play the... Wanted to see if people, unless people actually want me to play the original. I don't know when it would be. And yes, there... I've, what I've heard, that like certain things weren't done in the game. Because... They were rushed because of the movie, but then when the movie was delayed due to a, due to certain events, the game was didn't get delayed, and it was forced to be how it is now. And the game still plays pretty well. I love how the game feels in it. I mean, I kind of wish they did a bit more. I know, like, I heard, I heard through the grapevine that the people behind playing, making, remaking the game wanted to make the game like the original. Yes, they made some tweaks here and there with movement and such like that, but they were wanting to make it closer to the original, and they had made a multiplayer mode so that you fight Robot Squidward. I kind of wish that if they were given more time and give and they decided and had more liberty, I would love to see what would happen if they actually 
did add things that were more missing in the game. I know they added the, uh, the, the because of the multiplayer mode, they were able to add the missing quick robot Squidward boss. I would love to see like there was like this the uh, Patrick's dream being like a world of ice cream or something like that. That would have been amazing to see. But am I? Do I regret purchasing and playing this game and doing a let's play? No, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done this let's play if I re didn't like playing this game or regretted buying it. I, is this game as bad as, say, Mega Man X6? No. Even though I love playing Mega Man X6 because that game's like, it's so bad, it's fun. Like... Because of like all the glitches makes that game good. But this game, even with all the glitches that could possibly ruin a moment, the game's still fun even without it. Without like any major glitches. I do respect that they did use the original audio clips of the original game, even though that meant I know that, I don't really know exactly who, I know that the voice actor for Krabs is still alive. I know that a couple of the voice actors, I think like, I believe it was either Merman Man or Barnacle Boy, I think one They passed so they couldn't really, you know, use their voices. But I would love to hear like Clancy Brown you hearing his classic Krabs voice. So, um do that to do, uh, in this game, but then again, he was probably more busy uh, voicing uh, Neo Cortex in the the newest Crash game. But I haven't actually played Crash. I probably should. I, might, I could do a let's play of that, or like a blind let's play of watching people suffer. I guess I could end it off here. But you say, hey, if you enjoyed this video, you can like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. But I think... I think there's something I should show you. Something that happens after being the game. When you roll all the way to the chum bucket, you'll see Plankton. And this is what happens when you talk to him. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob. I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you call them your robots. No, I, uh... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe. But I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh! I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you! That's not the one I was talking about. Maybe this day won't be mine. There it is. Or the next. Or possibly even the next. Or 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 the next after that. But the one after the next. After the next. After the next. After that. Well, that one after that. Right next to that one. That will be my day. <laughs> ah, Plankton. I got this. Stay down! Well, this is going to be the end. I hope you guys had a great day. I'll see you all next time. 
Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do play next. I can't really give a good hit because I don't have one planned. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you can like, comment, subscribe, do all that, share with your friends. I hope you have a good day. And I, ho and I hope you have the best day ever.